Dungeon Fighter line, by every trackable metric, is considered to be the largest, most successful MMORPG ever. It is one of the most played, highest grossing video games of all time, with over 850 million players worldwide, over $22 billion in lifetime revenue as of June 2023. The game made $1.5 billion in 2018, it made $1.6 billion in 2019. It then went on to make over $1.6 billion in 2020, a decade ago apparently attaining a peak of 3 million concurrent players in China alone. Evidently, based of its continued success in terms of revenue, that likely hasn't changed. But we're not here to talk about Dungeon Fighter Online. Rather, we're here to talk about Dungeon Fighter Mobile, which in its first month, alone has attained on iOS exclusively, this is disregarding PC, attained $270 million, becoming China's most downloaded game. And evidently, one of if not the highest grossing MMORPG, most popular MMORPG of 2024. That absolutely blows my mind. Mobile MMOs tend to make tens of millions of dollars each month. 270 million on iOS, potentially double that if you factor in Android devices and then you factor in the PC revenue. This game, this year alone, is projected to make roughly two to three billion dollars, the most the entire franchise has ever made. It contributed to a 12% rise in mobile games revenue for Tencent last month. Next on a Tencent's Dungeon Fighter Mobile has had a strong first month in China, raking in 270 million on iOS, more than twice that of Honor of Kings earnings in the same period. The new release was China's most downloaded game and top revenue earner over its first 30 days, according to Sensor Tower data reported by Bloomberg. It also surpassed its first 100 million in only 10 days. Only 10 days, that is crazy. Topping revenue growth charts at the time. As a result of this early success, Mobile RPG was partially responsible for Tencent's 12% rise in mobile games revenue last month. As its name suggests, it is a mobile spinoff of Nexon's 2005 beat em up series Dungeon Fighter. It released in South Korea in 2022, and Tencent landed the publishing rights for its release in China, but was delayed in doing so by the Chinese governmental restrictions. Tencent has since removed Dungeon Fighter Mobile from the Android app stores due to licensing agreements expiring, but even so, the game has seen huge success in the region so far, driven by spending on iOS. So, okay, evidently the 270 million is a total. It doesn't look like it factors in Android devices right now purely because Android players cannot log in and play the game, but that is very likely to change in the future. It's good news for Nexon is only days before launch in China. The president and CEO, Jung Hyun Lee, shared his hopes for Dungeon Fighter Mobile's profoundly positive impact on Nexon's revenue and profit profile. This is after the company's revenue declined by 32% year over year in China this quarter. With Nexon situation looking brighter now, Sensor Tower, Senior Director of Asia Pacific Marketing, Nan Lu commented, Since its release, Dungeon Fighter Mobile has been occupying the top positions for the iOS charts in all categories. This is a very impressive start, and it has been stable as well. The future performance will depend on Tencent operations and continuous updates to the game. Well, evidently, if this is anything to base its potential success off of, they are going to succeed. They're going to find monolithic success in terms of revenue, in terms of concurrent players. Since Dungeon Fighter Mobile can leverage a substantial amount of content already used in its Korean version, we expect the decrease in revenue to be gradual, helping to maintain player interest and prolong popularity. In total, 15 more overseas licenses were granted approval for Chinese launches, may including Valorant, Mario, and Pokemon games. All right, but do we have this globally yet? Is this playable globally? I actually have absolutely no idea. I If it's not, and it releases globally, Nexon is going to have arguably the biggest hit in terms of MMO there is. Absolutely dwarfing Paris Land, which was Tencent's other attempted MMO release that has done absolutely terribly. Now, if this is of absolutely no interest to you, no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. Might be more up your alley.